Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about Firebase Firestore database. So let's let me open documentation. So before adding Firebase directly to Firebase Firestore directly to your Android application, we have to first create Firebase Firestore database. Let's open console. Click on Firestore database. And create one database. Let's create database in test mode. Select server and connect. In Firebase Firestore, it will allow you to save your data as documents. Right? So, suppose here we can create one collection. Collection will store your data as one single document. This is no SQL scalable database. Okay, so let me show you quickly. Okay, we are going to see this later how we can store our how database will look like. First, we will add Firestore dependency to our Android application. So, okay. control this dependency. Open build and paste it here. Fire store and sync the project. You can read about Firestore in this official documentation. We are going to follow this documentation, so I will teach you each and every step to save your data onto Firestore. Okay, our project is successfully synced. Now, here in the layout, I have created one edit text with add button. Whenever user will write his task and click on add button I will store this task to server or we can say firestore with his user ID so each and every user will be separated with his user ID so when user will logged in with his credential he or she can check only their to do list task now, first, let's create one object here. Current user equal current user is on dot. You can directly write user each. The label right now it's none if user is not logged out we can save user
authentication okay so we don't need to declare a user here we just take current user directly okay because we need only user id to separate our user id For adding our data to Firestore, first we have to create Cloud Firestore object, database object. Let's create one. Create in it var db Firestore. Firebase Firestore and initialize Firestore here. Okay. To save our data, first we need to make one object for our data right so let's create one object here creating new package file data model inside data model i am creating task model okay inside task model we just need task which is string task name <coughs> and is check task is complete or not which is boolean <coughs> okay. so our model class is ready So, binding on button add, set on click listener, we are going to save our task on Firestore. So, here let's get task from edit text. If task is empty, we are returning error, or we can say we are setting error to edit text. Task cannot be. If task is not empty, <coughs> we are saving task directly to our collection. For each user, we are going to create separate collection, right? So here DB, or uh, we are not going to create separate collection. We are going to create separate. Okay, we are going to create separate collection for each user. So here we can write db 
collection here we have to provide path for the collection so we are just creating auth dot uid just create simple collection by naming all task okay. and inside our task we are providing id user id which is string so here in task we are going to add our object directly right so let's create our data object well task equals to task model in this task model we are providing task always false because and our user id which is current user dot uid dot to string okay directly write this object to add and here we can add on success listener if database if document is written successfully if it dot so here we can make simple toast message toast task save and test length is dot dot save also we can add failure where we can simply write those tasks not saved and here we can write log or log activity we can check error if occurred error saving if not get message So this is as simple as that. So let's quickly run and check code. Okay, so our application is launched. Now let's add task task one. Press add. So here we can see we have toast message the task su successfully added. Now let's add task two. Task is saved and add task three. Let's open our Firebase and check how data is actually stored on the Firestore. Okay. Refresh.
so here you can see we have created all underscore task collection let me show you here we have create all underscore task collection and added three data each data is saved as document document contains field that which we have created inside our model class right let's check task second which have same user id also we can use user's email id because every user have their unique email id for fetching data in the next video i will show you how you can fetch all this data from user id we can say we, how we can write query by passing user id get all user specific data to our Android application. Okay. So, so that's it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.